Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm back for tutorial number eight. Um, I'm going to make this one short and sweet. It's going to branch off of the sidechain compression tutorial number one and reverb and delay uh, tutorials, I believe, three and four, maybe. Uh, check the playlist. Um, this track is going to show you how you can automate an effect whenever you want it to kick in and then remain silent uh, any other time. And you do that with automation. What I've got here is a drum kit and some piano. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is automate some reverb on the snare drum to only kick in like on the fourth snare hit. And here's how we can do that. The snare drum is routed to track three. So now what I'm going to do is send a signal to track 4, and that's where I'm going to put my reverb. And we can do this clicking on the snare drum track, going over to track 4, right-clicking, choosing sidechain to this track. Okay, now this volume knob that pops up, normally with a reverb or a delay or whatever, you're going to turn this all the way up to 100% so the reverb's on all the time. Here I've got my reverb and an EQ set up, just rolling off some low end. You can hear the reverb. But I don't want it to hit with every uh, snare. So what I'm going to do is go back to my snare drum and turn this volume knob back down. And instead, I'm going to right click on it and create an automation clip. That's going to create an automation clip here. Um, you can rename it, change the color of it, whatever. The important part is under the playlist. So go to View Playlist. And it also draws out the automation clip for you right here. This is 0%. You can see down here the value or whatever. It's 0% or 100%. All right, so now on the fourth snare, I'm going to set it from 0 to 80% or whatever. All right, so the four snares right here. Right click to draw in a little uh, grid marker. Right click again. I'm set about 80%. And then <clears throat> right here before the other snare kicks in, I'm gonna drop it back to zero. So only one of these two snares here will have reverb on it. And that's pretty much it. So I'll do that on this last one too. Draw uh, reverb right here, 80%. Just give it a little tail. All right, and uh, that's pretty much it. I'll let you listen to it here. Start it over. All right, guys, uh, comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. For those of you that already have, I really appreciate it, man. It's great. Um, keep the questions coming in and all that stuff, too. It helps me kind of decide what I'm going to do next for the tutorials. So stay tuned for more music, uh, a couple of mixtapes coming, all that stuff, man. Subscribe today. Later, guys.